the game plan this morning. We're gonna hike up over this hill into the meadow. Kind of walk along the tree line of the meadow. It's about 6:17. We saw it moving about seven. So I'm just gonna move tactically through the woods. Let's see if we can get it done. Twelve seconds later. I just shot a big bull. I think I hit him. Sixty yards. Oh my god. Austin! Dude, bro, I shot a bull. So, just got done downgrading my pants and my tops because it's gotten hotter. And I decided to walk up this hill behind me and on the way up, I definitely came across an elk. And uh, it took off and all I could see was the top of its antlers right up over the top of this hill up here. So... I think I'm gonna pull out, head back down towards Ross. Based on the wind, I'll come back down to you guys from the top. Cause right now he has the high ground and he's definitely gonna win that battle. Look at this game trail. That is thick. I bet you money the elk are using this to get on that ledge. Looks like the lions know about this game trail. But it could also be a small calf or a cow. So we've seen plenty of them in here. Here I'm at the bottom of the game trail. There's a lot of beds in here. Looks like a herd of elk would be chilling here. There's some elk shit. Looks like a bunch of elk were laying under that pine tree. This whole area is wet. I think it's about time to link up with Ross. I'm gonna let him know about this area. 
Then we're gonna get some chow. Go check our trail cam. It's a little bit north down the trail. And then we'll make a plan from there. Two hours later. Dude, I feel sick. Did you not hear that crash when we left? I shot at a bull. I've been sitting here since 7.30. You see those, those lines right there? Or that branch that comes down and that branch that comes up. I'm walking through here. I look over here. I look over here. He's just standing there looking at me. And I was like... Was he? How big was he? Oh, oh, I didn't count how many points. All I saw was width. Because I saw a bull. You did where? Yeah. <laughs> I heard you. And I thought it was hikers. Oh, really? So I sat down and I saw elk pushing through these trees. So I sat there for like an hour and a half, two hours. Then I got up and I walked upwind and then came across just to see where they go up there. And there's a massive game trail, dude. I went over there and to I look. See the top of antlers of a bull. I went over there to look to see if I could spot blood or my arrow. And I, pulled, I had to pull out because I saw cows starting to walk through there. So I pulled back out here. I don't know, because like, when I shot him, I took off after to find you. Because it was literally right when I left you. Yeah, I know, I heard. I thought it was hikers, I was like, God. And when he turned to run, because I, I hit him frontal, if I did hit him. And I was, the way I was aiming, I was aiming for his heart and exiting out his uh, armpit. Where, where? He's down there, uh, 57 yards. Shot. You practice that shot all the time, I know. I don't know, but 60 yards? Well, yeah, I was practicing that more consistently. And then this happens, and it's just like... What's crazy is you'll think about that for the rest of your life. Yeah, for sure, yeah. The thing about hunting is you're willing to put yourself through some harsh emotions. Like you're not just going out there and say, oh, fine. Yeah, like that was like a breakup. Like you come home. Yeah. <laughs> That's like going through a freaking breakup. You come home depressed sometimes. <laughs>
that's an elk, that's a spike. and I decided to split up and uh, hunt the evening. I'm not exactly sure where he is. It's getting dark, so hopefully I'll just find him at camp. Right now I'm post up behind this log and we've got shooting lanes all the way up to 30, 40, 60, 50 right there. And there's a game trail that goes right through here. It's 1900 right now. And I ain't seen any elk this far up the hill yet. So maybe tomorrow we're gonna go back down where Ross shot at his I'm going to try and sneak in barefoot again, and we're going to sit there as long as it takes. I need that elk protein. getting to the point where I'm starting to head back to camp. I sat down in this meadow right here and I started glassing the cliffs and spotted this little forked horn two-point. That's the first buck I've seen up here and he's just chilling up there. But we're not after buck. Uh, where are the bulls? Dude, bro! I just shot a bull! <laughs>